Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Easton Made Wood Splitters and welcome back to the Easton Made channel. Out here in the wood yard today and I'm going to try and answer a question that we get asked an awful lot and it's how do you actually calculate the tonnage of a log splitter? It's actually quite simple guys. Um, force is equal to pressure and area. So depending on how much pressure you have going into your cylinder and how big it is is going to dictate how much force you have and, and pounds or tons at the at your pusher itself. So here's what we have here. You have standard hydraulic pump, same as every other log splitter in the world. Um, comes up, goes into your valve, comes out, the oil goes into here. So depending on how much pressure is in your system is going to tell dictate how much how much force you actually have. The other part of that is the area. The area of the piston inside inside that cylinder there's a piston in there and depending on the surface area of that piston uh pi r squared will give you will give you the uh the area of it so it's uh, 3.14 times your radius squared will give you the surface area of that piston um so this is our 2228 here it's 37 tons just so happens to run at 3700 psi um so that ends up being 74,000 pounds of push at the uh at, at the pusher right here and you have to remember that because the gauge is in psi it's in pounds per square inch so when you do this calculation based on psi it is going to tell you how many pounds of force is on the pusher you need to divide that by 2,000 to get the actual tonnage. There's 2,000 pounds in a ton. So that's how that's how you figure that out. Um, like I said, the big thing is remembering that it is the piston inside the cylinder. It's not the rod; it's the piston, and uh, and then the actual pressure of of what your maximum relief is set to. It's not when it's just cycling; it's when it's maxed straight out. Pressure going into the cylinder that is the the pressure that you are looking for um there's even some guys that will get right down in the nitty-gritty and put the put the uh gauge right right in the line going to the cylinder by all rights that is probably the proper way to do it um you're gonna have a little bit of pressure loss there it's not going to be significant enough for us to worry about it in most cases um there's a few other factors at work here too for splitting a block of wood um if you've watched uh, any uh, any of our videos or any of uh, any of the videos of guys that have our splitters, um, we we normally have a splitter that's rated a little bit lower than than most. Like our axis, we rated at 14 tons. Same as the same as the ultra, the 1222 is 24 tons. Um, and uh, the big thing with this is is you can't you can't make a piece of wood smaller. So. The wedge design goes a long, long, long ways here, depending on on where your wings are placed, the angle of them, uh, how how it splits. So you can see here, our wedges are normally really narrow all the way through them, and that that really helps out. Like a a lot of companies will run a big pie shaped wedge, or they'll have another sleeve or something that goes over top of that. And every little bit that you make that wider, it takes that much more power to actually split the block of wood. Um, do they work? Yeah, of course they do. But it, years ago, I think the big the big thought process here was faster. You'd be able to pop the wood apart quicker. But um, with a smaller cylinder and a thin wedge like that, uh, you're not gonna do that any faster. And you're still gonna have the power to push through that stringy stuff. You just imagine a big pie-shaped wedge that it's going to be very, very difficult to pull a piece of alum apart or gum or sycamore or something along those lines. So the design of the wedge goes a long, long way with it. And the other part of this too is as you get more tonnage in there, it takes more oil to fill that cylinder up. So it slows it down a lot. Like the overall cycle time of it slows down drastically. Like this is our 2220. Um, it's the biggest machine we make. It, it's actually slower than, than our 1222, like one size down from it. And it has a bigger engine to pump. It's just because it takes more oil to fill up that cylinder um, compared to what the 1222 is. Um, and you can see that this, uh, <laughs> this here is a pretty cool machine. There's a lot of you guys that have been waiting to see this and uh, we're doing some testing on it. Um, normally whenever we take on a project like this, we will 
we will do it just in this fashion. We will take it and uh, we'll put it all together and run it, put it through its paces and uh, make sure that it, there's no other modifications. You can see there's a handful of little things we have got to do to this to get it going and get it, get it up to snuff. But uh, we're pretty impressed with how this, how this splitter works in, in this configuration. Um, so if you haven't waited on this, uh, give it a couple of more weeks here and we should have uh, we should have a video out of it painted and and running so if you haven't done so yet hit that like and subscribe button you'll be able to see how this thing actually operates because i'll tell you it is <laughs> it is pretty impressive um anyways guys uh, like i said if you like the video give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button on the bottom i really appreciate all of your support all the feedback that we get from everybody um it means the world to us guys and i really hope to see you on the next one take care